Good morning friends, Val here. Welcome to my channel, V Swain. Baby Shark is back. I uploaded um, um, a video unboxing this box yesterday and when I was re-watching it, I didn't like the way it turned out at all. My cat was in the middle of everything and walking across the table and was really distracting and it was really windy outside and so the wind noise in the background was really loud and I kept misidentifying all the sea creatures in the box and I just didn't like it so I decided to delete it and give it a second try and so if you watched yesterday I appreciate it and um, I didn't have any comments yet so I decided just to give it a second try so I am unboxing this box that I packed for Operation Christmas Child for a boy in the age range of two to four. And I packed it in this photo box that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. And as I mentioned yesterday, um, I do use these photo boxes once in a while, but I am using them less and less because um, my friend who has um, worked in the processing center for several years, um, told me that she has seen a lot of these photo boxes coming through and they're not in very good shape. Um, they tend to get tattered and torn on the edges. And so when I do use these, I cover them in package, clear packaging tape. Well, I cover the lid and then I put tape around the edges of the bottom. And so this, let me show you what I packed. It's a really cute box with sharks on it, which fits my theme, um, makes it pretty cute. So right inside the edge of the lid, I um, adhered a just a little poster of baby sharks. I got this out of a baby shark activity tin, um, which I have packed in the box. So that's real cute. The sharks aren't in the ocean, but they're on the beach, and I think that's adorable. This little boy will find a real cute shirt with baby sharks on it. All the little baby sharks with the do 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 song on there. And he will find a um, rice maker, a hand clapper, and this is a little hygiene kit with a bar of soap. Um, a magic towel which has Mickey Mouse on it, a uh, toothbrush, um, a little comb, and I have a cup in the box um, and the straw for that cup is tucked inside this package. Two pair of underwear. Here's the first pair, size, uh, size um, four. And here is another pair. I'm gonna put the green and blue on top because it looks nice with my <laughs> the rest of my box. And this is the Baby Shark tin. Um, and it's real cute. It's got all the Baby Sharks on it. And inside it came with um, a charm and a clip, a mini poster, two magnet cards, and two sticker cards. And I added some extra things to it. Um, I actually had two of these. Um, tins and so I I opened them both and I put most everything that was in one of them in this one and I will just use the tin for um, another box so inside I also tucked a um, blippy mobile this one's a little truck with a driver he has a cross necklace and I get those from Hobby Lobby. He has another little mini poster. Um, I had two of them because I had two of these tins and I put one on the lid and then I just included this one. It's a little baby shark with the microphone in his hand and it says let's sing so I'm sure he's singing the do 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 song. And I've got some little stickers, some baby shark stickers. Got four of those little sticker sheets. And I have the 
these two um, clips, keychain clips, baby sharks. They are very cute. And a little silicone bracelet that has Timon on it from the Lion King. I have two shark erasers. Well, I think this one's a shark and I'm not positive about the other one. Maybe a dolphin. So, got those. I've got Nemo, the Nemo figure. And I have a few sea creatures in here. I've got sea, sea creatures scattered throughout the box. Um, this one is a dolphin. And I've got a squid and a starfish. So he has a little mini baby shark um, stuffy. He has a baby baby. This one is a dolphin. This one's um, name is Echo. Uh, so he's got a couple of little huggables in his box. And this one says, Echo the dolphin lives in the sea, playing with her friends like you and me. Through the waves, she echoes the sound. I'm so glad to have you around. So we've got Baby Shark and we have Echo. Baby Shark cup with a lid and it came with a straw, which um, I put in the hygiene kit. It has um, all the Baby Sharks on it. It's real colorful, real cute. And inside, um, I believe I got these at Walmart, but I'm not positive. I know I got them on clearance. They were a really good price. It might have been Hobby Lobby. I know I got some cups at Hobby Lobby, but I'm not sure if it was these. Inside I tucked um, a beach ball, a little mini beach ball, and some socks. These are really cute. It says Santa Jaws on them. <laughs> And so we've got a big shark here with a Santa hat, but then we've got all these little um, dolphins and fish with Santa hats. Um, so I thought that would be real cute with my baby. It's cute, not scary. I thought that would be cute with my baby shark box. A little whale figurine. And another little dolphin. And a shark and a seal or a sea otter. So that's my baby shark cup. Tote bag, drawstring nylon tote bag from Amazon, just plain blue. A baby shark puzzle. Um, this says five plus on it, but maybe with a little bit of help, this little guy can put it together or he can just save it and put it together when he's older. Um, it has only 24 pieces, so I think it's a good puzzle for this box. Um, it's the same, um, it's the same design that's on the um, image on the inside lid, the baby sharks at the beach. And so inside, along with the puzzle pieces, is I have a few extra sea creature figurines. This is a, some kind of fish, <laughs> sure. Um, a crab. This one I called a lobster yesterday. It's obviously not a lobster. It's some kind of a sea scorpion or scorpion fish. He's got this, um, it's a dolphin, I believe and a walrus. So that, I think that's it for the sea creature figurines. He's got several to play with. Disinfectant wet wipes, uh, being sharp. Um, there's a plane flying overhead. <laughs> I'll wait till that passes. Um, I got these at Walmart really cheaply, 10 cents or 15 cents. So those will be nice for this little guy to keep his hands clean. I've got some phone stickers that are Sea Life 
a turtle, a jellyfish, a seahorse, um, a puffer fish, just real cute. And then I also tucked in this little baggie some stickers, several sheets of these stickers that have just colorful fish on them. So he's got some stickers. This is his pencil pouch. And in his pencil pouch, I put a pencil sharpener. That's a piranha. That's from Dollar Tree. A couple of quick pens, blue and green. Um, some kid blunt tip scissors, a pinky school eraser for school. Um, he has some regular number two lead pencils. One of them has a pencil grip. Some novelty pencils in here that have sea life on them. Um, I believe they are cute fish and um, a couple of other ones. And so that is his pencil pouch. Oh, there's um, a couple of rulers in here. There's one that's in the shape of an alligator, which, which is real cute, but it just has inches on it. So I tucked in another one um, that has inches and centimeters. That's a snap wrist bracelet ruler. So that is his pencil pouch. He has some colored pencils, just this little mini pack of Crayola colored pencils. I got that from the Dollar Tree. Um, and I know a dollar is kind of a lot to pay for a little package of colored pencils, but I thought they were so cute and they fit really nicely in a shoe box. So a little added um, fun for this little guy. And to go along with the little mini colored pencils, there's a little mini notepad that has an octopus on it. It says, dive deep for the treasure you seek. Very cute. He's got some jumbo crayons, a count. These are Pro Marks brand. I got these for 37 cents at Menards. He has a uh, Go Fish card game. He has this um, note uh, paper pad that has lines in it for writing and a place at the top for drawing and putting his stickers on so he can draw pictures and then write a story. He has, this is just the photo of my family with the note on the back. It's real cute. I just happen to have this card um, in my stash of stuff. It's got um, kind of um, beachy ocean um, designs on on it and even the frame around the photo very cute he has a dry erase board um and whiteboard it's the perfect size for this box um i think i may have gotten this on clearance at walgreens i got a couple of them um not too long ago actually and i just um stuck some of the magnets that came out of the baby shark activity tin because it is magnetic it's got magnetic strips on the back too, so if he has a metal surface um, to stick this on, that'll be really fun for him. But if not, it, it works fine just to lay on the table. To go, it has um, one dry erase marker with an eraser tip on it, but I gave him three more, a blue, a red, and a green. And then the colors of the baby sharks. He has this cute um, Shark Adventures um, coloring book from Dollar Tree. And it's not Baby Shark, but it kind of looks like the Baby Shark characters. It's got the <coughs> sea life creatures in it. Very, very cute and colorful. Goes nicely with this box. He's got a little golden book, which is Baby Shark, which has just beautiful illustrations in it. Um, not a lot of words, just really large images of all the baby sharks. <laughs> I love this baby shark here with glasses on. So cute. That's grandma shark there. And daddy shark. Mommy shark. It's got all those shark characters in it. So, very cute little golden book. And... He has a coloring book, Baby Shark J. 
jumbo coloring and activity book, which I believe I got from perhaps a Dollar Tree or maybe Five Below. That's usually where I, I get my coloring books. It's got some nice large images to color along with some simple activities and games. So that is a bigger coloring book for this little guy. And that is my Baby Shark box for a boy age two to four. And so if you saw something you liked, I hope you'll hit the like button and I hope you will share a comment if you would like to do so. I love reading your comments. I love seeing your ideas and your suggestions. And if you would like to subscribe, that would be awesome if you haven't already. So thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate, appreciate all of you stopping by my channel and giving my videos some attention. So goodbye for now.